Hello my lovelies! I hope you're ready for a long video because I had three coffees and I'm in a super chatty mode because as you know I wasn't really filming regularly like last month so I just thought I'm gonna sit down and talk to you and I wanted like a long video. As you know I've been traveling throughout the September which meant that my beauty regimen was out of wash bags and out of beauty bags and this is basically what it consisted of for the whole of September. So I started the month like in Saint-Tropez, then Rome, then New York, London, Milan, Paris. So all over the place uh, meant kind of packing really important things and packing the stuff that I really like and that I'm really gonna use. Anyway, I really wanted to show you the contents of my two beauty bags. So the one that is kind of like a bathroom bag and the other one which is like my makeup bag because I thought this will give you quite a good insight into my favorite beauty products in general. Both of my beauty travel bags are by Anya Hindmarch just because I find them the most convenient when traveling and also because I lost my purple Gucci one which is somewhere at my house but no one really knows where. I'm gonna start showing you what's in this one and I particularly love this makeup bag because I've had it now for around six months and it is really really convenient. I know these beauty bags are like a bit expensive but I think they're very worth it especially for someone that travels like me all the time. Like I do invest a bit of money in a suitcase and things like this. The reason why I love it is because it has two compartments so one is like a deep one and the other one is shallow. In the shallow one I basically keep all of the makeup brushes and in here I keep the makeup. I love it that it's see-through because when I arrive to wherever I just know where like I don't know concealer is or where my eyeshadows are and stuff like that so it's kind of easier to maneuver I guess. I'm just gonna talk you through what's in here the moment I open it. I'm not going to talk too much about these products because most likely you've heard me talk about them before and also because this video would be like three days long because I could really talk about these products. So thing number one is this MAC eyeshadow quad and it contains like my favorite neutrals that can be worn from day to night. The reason why I love this one so much is kind of like I put the eyeshadows in here that I like. I've got <laughs> carbon, then handwritten this beautiful brown one then i've got hawks is like one of my all-time favorite mac eyeshadows and then i've got cork right yeah cork is the beige one so i use these two for the day and then these two for the evening i even use these two for the Amphar gala events because they're just so perfect for the smoky look the only other eyeshadow palette that i've got in here is the more shiny um eyeshadow quad and this is the honeymoon by tom ford you guys know i love this it depends like really if i wake up in a more subtle feminine mood i would just wear these two bronzy ones or the copper tone which I've also got on my eyelids now. I love this quad. I think it's brilliant. So this is a great one by Tom Ford. Talking about Tom Ford, this month I've been wearing a lot the blush which is actually a cheek duo in shade Bio Coastal. And this is what it looks like. It gives a really nice 3D look to my cheeks. I'm not sure if you can tell that now because of the lights, but I've been really, really enjoying this and it's been traveling with me for a while now. My two favorite highlighters, something that you guys tend to ask me all the time, and they are always, always, always in my bag whenever I'm traveling. A highlighter that I swear by and this was actually recommended to me personally by my dear friend Fleur from Fleur the Force of course you all know her and she's amazing and she always has the best recommendations so she's told me to get this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop that you can see here I always wear it like on on here and I love it so much um, I think it's been created by Jacqueline Hill and I think she's done really great with this because it's so far my favorite highlighter I've ever used but underneath the powder one I use the Dior you guys know that I love this it's flash luminizer it's radiance boosting pen so I just kind of dab this on oops I dab this on and sometimes if I don't want to use too much highlighter, like the Becca one, then I just use the Dior one because this gives me a nice natural dewy finish. Okay, for contouring, uh, this month I use something that sadly broke a little bit and it is a NARS Duo in Paloma. I used this once before an event, a makeup artist used, on, used it on me and I was like, whoa, what is that? So you can see the darker shade here, the lighter one I don't really use. 
so I'm not really sad that it broke. But um, I just think it suits my skin color really well because it's not too red, it's not orange, it's like a nice grey tone but it's not too grey either so it's a really great travel companion. My foundation slash base holy grail is gonna go to NARS really, like in general for base I really love using NARS. And I'm gonna talk to you about All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This is an oil free foundation and lasts all day long really. My shade is medium 2 or Santa Fe and I always mix it with now this product looks kind of poor but keep in mind I literally travel with it all the time. It is the NARS Radiance Enhancing Pro Primer and this has SPF 15. Yeah I told you it had better days. I really should repurchase this. So this is like a white shimmering cream. Come on is there anything in there? Yeah, it's like a white shimmering cream which I mix with my NARS foundation, I put it on like a beauty blender and then I just like tap it all around my face and that makes my skin really fresh, young and glowy looking. Um, this gives great coverage, great shade to my skin and then this gives it the healthy glow and luminosity. Another kind of like NARS skin base product I use would be the Radiant Creamy Concealer and this one is in shade Custard. I love it, I just use it for the, after the sleepless nights because it gives me the kind of like fresh and wide awake look. Keep in mind that I don't actually wear any makeup half of the time because yeah like I traveled yesterday and I wasn't wearing any makeup just a bit of moisturizer and a touch of this because it gives me a nice glow. Um, I don't know but like lately I'm really really enjoying not wearing any makeup so this is all for like events and appearances and things like that when I actually should look presentable right um, okay a product that is definitely in my like top five cannot live without products is the YSL Couture Eye Primer. Now this one has a bit of shimmer and it's in shade 2 medium but I think number one is oh the matte and completely colorless one. Uh, this one is like a peachy shade. I applied on my eyelids before the eyeshadow and it makes my eyeshadow literally stay put all day long without any creasing, smudging or anything like that. This is the most amazing eye primer I've ever used. I also have a nail polish in here and this month I used the Essie Between the Seats. I bought this in New York so it's in my um, in my makeup bag and this is just like for touch-ups and things like that because you know girl has to have a good nail polish around right? A few more products left. A product that I need to repurchase for the third time now because I've been running out is the Lancome Grandiose Liner. This is amazing. This product, as you know, like the, the handle kind of like bends and you can just angle and uh, like do the eyeliner as you wish. I, the only downside to this product is that it lasts really short time. I bought it in Saint Tropez last time, so that's like a month ago exactly. And I don't even use the eyeliner every single day, so... I'm not sure why it dries up so quickly, but it's literally the best one for me on the market right now. For my eyebrows, I'm using my Holy Grail brow product, and that is Brow Sculptor by Tom Ford in number 4 Espresso. It is this kind of like pencil, I guess. And it's amazing because it also has a sharpener at the bottom, so you sharpen it well, and then you can just create the brows of your dreams, which I then kind of fix with the, the this like Benefit 3D brow tones. Uh, highlighter kind of so it's like this like mascara e wand thing that you apply oh my god I'm gonna mess this up now um, that you apply on your eyebrows and it just like makes them kind of I don't know more highlighted than like really 3d mine is in color for mascara I've been using the your show maximizer the like lash primer I think now for two years or maybe over two years it's like this white lash primer that makes my lashes look really really full and rich. Every single day I use this brow primer and then over them I use the Benefit Roller Lash. It's the best mascara for my lashes. It has a plastic wand which I thought I'm never gonna like and I'm using the mini version just because I need every single inch of space in my makeup bag when I'm traveling. Freely products. I've got my favorite MAC lip pencil in color Strip Down which really should be um, sharpened because I've stripped it down as you can see. Um, it's a beautiful nude color and um, it often helps me achieve like a really nice pout like fuller pout than usually which I mean is great especially for like events like Amphar Gala I used it on that day 
And then I also used the Hourglass Nude 6 lipstick, which I am obsessed with currently. It's always in my bag. It's a perfect, perfect nude shade. I love it so incredibly much. But then when I want to go crazy and kind of come out of my comfort zone, I love using this very dark black lipstick by Dior. And this is Dior 602 Visionary Matte. This is insane can you imagine me with this lipstick yeah like i wore some over the knee boots a shirt black lipstick like messy hair and people were like wow is this even you we could not recognize you but i promise you it looks really cool so that is it in my makeup bag except from the brushes that i've got on the other side and the brushes that i've got are pretty basic i've got like a powder brush which is like by bare minerals i don't know where my powder is but it's gone missing somewhere uh, then for contouring i'm using this nars kind of like flat brush um nars i think this is something yeah chio brush or something like that i love it for the blush for the highlighter i've got this fan brush then for the blush also mac 116 uh for the lower lash line mac 219 mac 224 for the crease Zoeva 228 for the crease and the Gucci brush for blending it all in because I love Gucci. So right now this Anya Heinmarsh makeup bag looks like this and there's nothing inside as you can see. Um, I love, love it. It's so cute and it says touch down here and then take off here. How freaking cute, right? Okay, so that was it with the makeup. But now I'm going to go straight into the beauty stuff, which is in here. And it's kind of heavy. And I love the fact that it has the smiley face. It always makes me smile. So it says lotions and potions. And that's exactly what's in here. It's pretty heavy. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to start straight with the skincare. And I've got my Sarah Chapman uh, Skin Aces Ultimate Cleanse Facial Cleanser. This is the second or third time I'm repurchasing this. Again, also recommended by my friend Fleur. Told you she's got great recommendations. This really removes all of the makeup. It smells divine. Mm, love it. It smells like it smells like oh I'm done with the day kind of thing. And I never go to bed with makeup on. Never. Like that's something that I cannot do. Even if I fall asleep, I wake up and like remove my makeup. So um, this is a great facial cleanser. It's like a balm, and then it melts on your skin, and you just remove it with a hot cloth, or you wash it away with water. It's amazing. You can get it at space and cake um, then another kind of skincare product and this is something i don't use all the time but it's very useful to have around when traveling because my skin can get quite dull because like of all the makeup and removing makeup and stuff like that so i've got a kate summerwell exfoliate it's an intensive exfoliating treatment and it actually is something that you can leave on for like 30 seconds and you can feel it tingling and then you can scrub it off and it removes all the dead cells from your skin, leaving your skin really radiant and fresh looking and great. I've done it last night and I feel much better now. I love this. It is acid based, but it also has particles. So both mechanical and chemical exfoliator, something that I really like and it's still quite gentle, though if you do leave it for a long time, you can burn your skin off. So be careful. Then I have a product that I've been obsessed with and this is La Mer Perfect in Treatment. Um, when I travel, I can get like redness and my skin can get like quite uneven. I use this, I wake up, my skin is all even. It like is literally very obviously renewed, freshened. I really, really love it. It's like this light pink kind of like jelly consistency. And I use it in the morning and at night and it really, really helps my skin. Then I've got like deodorant. I don't really have like a particular one I use. I just have whatever whatever I get on the go, really, whatever I buy. And this is the Dove Invisible Dry. I don't know, like, there's absolutely no thinking behind choosing this. Then I have another face, well, not another, first face mask. This is the Nightwear Plus 3-Minute Detox Mask by Estee Lauder. And this is really cooling. I think it smells like cucumbers, but I don't even know if that's accurate. I don't know, has anyone else used this? It's kind of like a clay mask and it detoxes your skin, especially after heavy makeup. Great, after photo shoots, I always use this after photo shoots and when I just feel like I need something to repair my skin a little bit because it's done with life, like flying. When my under eye area is very dry, that doesn't really happen often, 
but I do like to soak it up in Guerlain Orchid Imperial uh, Eye Moisturizer. This is my favorite eye moisturizer. So incredibly um, luxurious, very thick, very... It smells... It doesn't really smell of anything, but it's very thick, very beautiful and very rich um, in vitamins and minerals, which are then nourishing my skin around the eyes. Great for like doing at night and then waking in the morning doing makeup and looking and feeling much fresher all right what else have i got i've got my nux uh body oil i love this body oil i think it's amazing um it is like a multi-purpose dry oil you can use it for your hair your nails your face um body i don't know like i use it on my body i love it it gives like my skin nice glow can you see that glow i think that's nux like it just it gives my skin nice 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 glow and it stays on for quite a while what does it say here? With six precious botanical oils, nourishes, repairs, softens. I really love it. And then, favorite perfume at the moment, Chanel Shans. I've been using this throughout my travels. I love this perfume. It smells like me. This is me, basically, in a bottle. If you want to know what I smell like, go and smell this, and that's me. I have my favorite lip balm. This is no news. I mean, I'm almost, almost a little bit embarrassed to talk about this product because I've been talking about it for so long. It is the Creme de Rose by Dior. It's like plumping. It's beautiful. It smells like rose and it's pink and I love it. And I never, ever go on a trip without this. Oh, I've got a lip gloss here. I think they just kind of ended up in a wrong um, bag when I was packing. And this is a Striptease by NARS. I love it. I'm actually going to apply it. Yeah, love it. It's kind of like a nude, perfect nude. Oh, now I'm gonna tell you a big secret, and this is a product that I really did not want to reveal because it is my secret, and I just don't want it to fly off the shelves. And also, I don't know if I like it's one of my top best kept secrets, like beauty secrets, and it is um, Ravita Lash Eyelash Serum. Now I don't know if this is gonna work for everyone. I've read different reviews online, I've read a different, like people with blonde eyes, uh, with blue eyes are saying like, oh, it doesn't work for them or whatever. I don't really know. All I know is that this made my lashes much longer and much thicker over the last few months. I bought it in Paris last fashion month and I'm going to repurchase it now again. I bought the big packaging. It is expensive. It's amazing. It is the best thing I've ever done in my life. It transformed my eyelashes. They're so long that people all the time ask me if I'm wearing fake eyelashes. And I just love it. The only thing you have to do is to keep applying it and you have you only notice results after like four to six weeks. So you have to be really patient and very regular with applying it. But I love it. I, I haven't had any side effects from it. Then in here I have my Venus shaver without the head because I think I have somewhere. Oh, there we go. I have in here a spare one. So I have a spare head for it. I love this one because it contains like a Louis Vera thingy bob. So when you shave, it just glides so smoothly. I have my toothbrush in this like little pocket on the side and the Colgate Max White um, little toothpaste. And that is it. Ta da! I love how organized this is. Look, here is where I keep my shaver. This is where I keep my toothbrush and the toothpaste and stuff like that. And it's just so beautiful. So this is now empty. And that is it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know what are your travel essentials. And if you have any products that I should be checking out for traveling, something that I forgot, something that I haven't got in here. I'm traveling tomorrow morning again, so I'm just gonna like pack this back up and leave. Or I guess put in my suitcase. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye!